Well, hello, hello there. The Coliseum welcomes you, my friends. We are back in standard, and oh boy, we have a pretty familiar face on this contender. Old fight rigging. We haven't seen a rigger in a while. Three mana, hideaway five, means you'll get the top five cards your library when it enters the battlefield. Exile one face down, then put the rest on the bottom in a random order. Being of combat in your turn, plus one, plus one counter. If you control a creature with power seven or greater, you may play the card for free. It's a pretty fancy little thing, and you know what? Honestly, we got a couple new additions to try to make this work. Number one. Pugnacious Hammer Skull, a 6-6 six, six for 3. That's right, a 6-6 six, six for 3. Quite the bargain. Of course, whenever he attacks me, you don't control another dino. It's a stun counter, so a little bit of a downside. And unfortunately, our dinos are limited to Mr. Hammer Skull and, of course, Mr. Belligerent Ridge Star. But at the same time, come on, people. We're not here to attack. I mean, we've got the Ancient One. Who wants to attack? We just want to trigger fight rigging and do crazy things with it. So, Hammer Skull is kind of replacing the Shakedown Heavy slot. We're going to see if we like him more. I'm kind of on the fence, but at the same time, I mean, it's a 6-6 six, six for 3. Who's going to complain about that, right? And this can actually attack, albeit every other turn. But hey, we've, you know, we've uh, exerted things before. We get it. Stun counters aren't that big of a deal. In addition to Mr. Hammer Skull, as I mentioned a moment ago, the Ancient One. An 8-8 eight, eight for 2. Pretty much setting things up as we speak. It can't attack or block unless there's any more permanent cards in your graveyard. But who cares? Who cares? We're not here to attack. We're here to trigger fight rigging. And that's what we're going to do. So what do we do with our fight rigging power? Well, the big one is Breach the Multiverse. Of course, that's the easiest one to hit. You hit seven. Everybody mills ten cards. You get a creature, a planeswalker out of each graveyard. Fantastic. We also got Virtue of Persistence, not only for the early game lock the wings scorn, but the late game. I mean, it's a fine. Hitting Virtue of Persistence off a of fight rigging is just fine. And then, almost predictably, old Miss Atraxa. Come on, she's still around, guys. She's still floating around. And hey, if we can get her off of a fight rigging, I mean, come on. Come on! So that's what our end game is. Otherwise, to supplement our fight rigging, of course, we've got old Mr. Bramble Familiar, chosen because not only does he accelerate us, but just like Breach the Multiverse in that late game, he does work as well. Allows us to mill seven cards, find something from those seven, get it onto the battlefield. Invasion of Ixalan allows us to try to find either our key creatures or our fight rigging itself, and can turn into a pretty sizable little dino. And then, of course, a favorite of mine, the Archfiend of the Draw. 6-6 six, six for 4 with flying, enters the battlefield with 4 oil counters. You know the routine. If we don't kill them, he kills us, but come on. We're going to try to kill them. Most importantly, it triggers fight rigging as soon as it hits the battlefield. So you know what? That's the deck, my friends. Honestly, I'm a little excited. I mean, granted, the Ancient One's really the newest addition. I'm only running two at the moment because, I mean, aside from just enabling the turn 3 fight rigging, which is pretty awesome, it doesn't do much beyond that. So... Without further ado, my friends, if this is your first time at the Coliseum, smash that like button, subscribe if you have not already, and if you want to, leave some comment, leave some love or some hate in the comments, go ahead and leave a list if you want, I'm always open to new stuff, but where are we at? Three minutes, the perfect time, let's get to the games. Oh jeez, well, I mean, I, you can't ask for much more than that, so let's do it, the only thing we're missing is our ancient one, so we'll go Restless Cottage, we get Dark Slick Shores into Invasion of Ixalan, we got a nice little curve leading right up to Mr. Archfiend of the Dross. See what we find here. We got Rafine's Tower. Probably looking at Domain, but it could honestly be anything. Hmm. I have tempted to take the Hammer Skull. We can go turn three Hammer Skull, turn four Fight Rigging. Yeah, let's do that. Give me that. Give me that. Times like this, I kind of wish. Oh, Legendary. Hammer Skull. Could have cut down, but at the same time, we can do that next turn. He's a big scary boy. Yeah, unfortunately, if our opponent's checking, if we attack, even if we create the other dino, we'll still get the stun counter. Yeah, kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? Kind of hoping he just goes tap out for, hmm, I don't know, Rafine or something cool, and then just lets us go rig a fight, baby. Otherwise, if he doesn't, then we'll probably just play it safe, attack the invasion with uh, the hammer skull and go from there. If he's got a removal, then we'll just untap and drop that arch fiend, baby. Kind of depends on what he's, uh, what he's, uh, packing. Give me that Rafine. Give me that Rafine. Skrelv. Hmm. That man's cool, too. I don't know. Skrelv. Yeah, keep looting. Loot away, Mo. It's a shame the Hammer Skull doesn't have Trample, but I suppose that would be pretty good for a 6-6 six, six for 3. Oh, he did. Oh, he's bounced into that sting. Hmm. Hold on, let's go ahead and take care of that fool right now. And guess who's back? Hammer Skull Bark. 
Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? This will hopefully encourage him to tap out to get something else on the board to protect himself from attacking the invasion. Because maybe that's all he thinks we want to do. Although, at this point, it's like playing a shakedown heavy. It's like, you kind of know what we're up to. But, who knows? If he goes removal spell again, we'll just go Archfiend. Just keep responding to his removal with our removal. Or, excuse me, with our things to be removed. Bam! Grease Fang! Whoa, okay, this is getting saucy. Alright. I am going to go ahead and go, I'm going to play the Boseju just in case there is a Spell Pierce hiding out there, but let's see what happens, shall we? Right, give me some goods, baby. Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame that does not do anything for us. Well, I guess we'll take, what, the cut down and cut down the Skrelve, or we can take the Invasion. Oh, that's a shame. Hmm. The f yeah, that's a shame. Let's see what he's got. It's like, what's the scariest thing it could be? Nothing good. Give me my dino! Yeah, he gets a stun counter, which is unfortunate, but that's life. Hey, what you laughing at? Bam! And there's the Ancient One, just for goods. Unfortunately, he ain't gonna be doing much of anything. But, we have a board. So what do we gotta watch out for? Well, luckily, we don't have to watch out for the big bad from Explorer and beyond. We gotta watch, I'm trying to think of what? Oh, I'm sure there's some crazy uh, vehicles I'm now thinking about. I mean, Parhelion isn't in this format, so we're okay there. Bean, you say? I mean, I love my Regisaur, but uh, yeah, 100% trade here. Especially if he discards something spicy. Hmm. I'll go Archfiend of the Dross or just attack down this. Uh, Let's go Archfiend of the Dross. Yeah. He's a big boy. Next turn, the Hammer Skull on taps. I know we want to keep the Dino around to keep the Hammer Skull doing his thing, but at the same time, we kind of don't want to pass up an opportunity to kill that Grease Fang. We got another Archfiend coming next turn. We're definitely racing. Loran. Oh no, my rigging! It's kind of outlived its usefulness, but hey, it's another permanent. Hmm. Draw a card, discard a card. You discard a card this way, target player mills. Oh, you fiend. You fiend. Draw a discard. Yep. And I guess I'll have to exert my hammer skull next to him. Bonk. Okay. Yeah, stun counter. Every other turn, we'll hit for seven. <laughs> Bam! I should have included some kind of failsafe to prevent this from happening. Oh, no! Is it just the subterranean schooner? I mean, that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. Schooner is sweet. So it's a combo with Grease Fang. You use it to... Uh, yeah, I like it. Let's see what happens. Attacks, the Grease Fane explores. Let's see where he puts his counters. He gets three counters, yeah. Yeah. Oof. Opponent's really dishing it out here. And again. Let's see what he discards. See how big things get. We can just block the Loran and attack him back, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. One, a two, a three. It's a four, seven. Interesting. I'm trying to see if that last card is a. Uh... Yeah, I hope he's got something else, which he very well could. Oh, he does. The fiend. Yep, back to your hand it goes. Does that do it? 
Let me see, so one, two, one, two, three, four. I think that does it actually. Boop. I can top deck too, homie. Boop. Yep. A good game, my man. So not the most exciting, but hey, Salt Aggro gets the job done, right? Alright. I mean, we will try it. It's not exactly amazing, but hey, Archfiend's Dross is pretty darn good, so let's hope that that's good enough. We can kill the early stuff, we can got the Hammer Skull to hold the fort down or to get the early damage in. That looks like to be the case. It'd be hilarious if it was a mirror match. It might very well be a mirror match. Oh, never mind. It's something much different. Yeah, a little late to the party. Probably just go Team Archfiend until uh, something shows up naturally, unless, you know, something else happens. He's got the removal. Pew! Oh, yes, please. So this is like Werebear, right? As long as there are four more creature cards in your graveyard. Eh, somewhat like Werebear. Let's see how much removal he's got, my dudes. Next turn, we might Invasion of Ixalan. Oh, Invasion of Amonkhet. Oh, three lands. Discard a card. Uh, guess the Ottawara? Or do I want to get the invasion out? No, I need both. Nah, nah we, we're committed. Let's just add one man of any color. Werber only added green. That's cheating. Yeah, I probably should have discarded the other Archfiend. Ah, that's tough to say, actually. Oh, good jeez. <laughs> All right. Bam! Hmm. Something was holding priority. Hope it's not a counter spell. It's not. What's he gonna hit if he hits us? He'll hit the Dino. What's he'll hit if he'll hit him? He'll hit the Cruel Summerfish. That's pretty cool. Dream Thief. Interesting. See what he does with this surveil. He leaves it. He likes it. It's a very good. A bad eyes. All right, homie. Show me what you got. We're on Team Archfiend. Another land off the top. An untapped land, and we can do everything. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could ever imagine. What? Fate taken. Giant growth? Double giant growth? Ah, wait. Wait, what? Hmm. I see what he's trying to do, I think. I don't know why he had to... Uh, yeah. I think he's trying to stall me out, which is not a bad plan. I can just kill my own Archfiend if I need to. Otherwise, I'm going to just kill him next turn. It kind of all depends on how much, uh, you know, how much stalling power he has here. <laughs> Fair. We might lose the game to our own Archfiend. Yeah, I guess. We'll see. I hate to say it, but I might just have to double virtue. <laughs> might just have to double virtue. Is he kicking it? Oh, he is. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, no. Did he hit something good? Oh, he did. Might have to spend my turn killing my own Archfiend so I don't die. Oof. 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 Hmm. I will gain six life doing it, so it's not a complete waste. Or six life. Excuse me. Four life. My six, my six. Yeah, I don't think there's anything on my side you can go for here, homie. Probably want to go for... I don't know. What do you get? Oh, his own Archfiend. Okay. Interesting. So I don't think I can kill him. Hmm. 
four four archween versus my not four four archween. Ah, oh, well, that makes it easy for me. Yeah, life is pain. Nothing but pain. Thanks, homie! I like to call it my I don't want to die to my own card play. Oh, jeez. Well, this is going to get out of control. How big is this? Eight, nine! Holy moly! That's the biggest alert goif I've ever seen. Getting in for eight, I imagine. Yes. Uh, no blocks here, homie. Oof. This could be bad for the home team, eh? Draw something good. And I'm one mana short from casting it. Beautiful. Can I do anything here? I'm not sure why he said good game, but I'll say it back. I'm thinking. I'm at 12. Block here, block here. Five, six, eight, nine, nine, sixteen. I, can't, I don't think I can do anything here, unfortunately. Uh, I can. Nope, I can't do anything. I attack for six. Yeah. Nah. Nope. That's it. He got it. Ah! Good game, my man. Good game. Well, I have to be. I can't complain. The magic gods are definitely letting me, you know, play first every round, so I can't be upset. I mean, I could be, but I won't be. Do I want to turn to Ancient One, Hope for the Dream? Nah, I'm gonna go with the Invasion of Ixalan. Yeah, Invasion of Ixalan, we gotta find a land. <laughs> Such an expensive, y yucky hand. Uh, do I need black or do I need green? This hand I can go either way, so I guess we'll take the glade. Go Hammer Skull into whatever. He's a big boy. He's a big old boy there. He's a dead boy. He's dead. Now the good news is that should clear the way for the Archfiend to come down, but we'll see. Ow. Anything else, my friend? He says no sir. So, yeah. Ah, he's got a cut down in his hand. What else is holding priority for one black when there's a 3-2 on the battlefield? I imagine cut down, but I could be wrong. Aw, oh, Graveyard Trespasser. Ooh, you're no fun. I don't think this is coming out anytime soon. Of course, that Trespasser is about to flip. Restless Cottage, you say. Hm. He's still got a cut down. Do I care about it? Bzz. Let's get my dino out here. Bigger than cut down. Oh. I think I'm going to hold on to the Ancient One so I can play something next turn to give the Regisaur uh, indestructible if need be. I just realized that I don't have a way to cast a track, so do I? Oh, that might have been a punt. Maybe I should have gone Plaza of Heroes or something similar. Ah, Nixilisk! Alright, fair enough. Uh, sure, that's fine. Yep. I'm gonna go discard. I'm gonna get a track, so. Hmm? I'm gonna take four here, or excuse me, take three here. I'm gonna attack with my Restless Cottage and take care of the, uh... Oh, here we go. Go for the throw there. I don't believe I can. No, actually, let's go here. And let's go there. Let's get rid of that pesky, tenacious underdog. 
It's gonna flip his graveyard trespasser. Oh, jeez, I'm only at nine? How did that happen? Oof, I'm about to go to four? How did that happen? Actually, I'm gonna go to even less than four. Oof. Well, the good news is I can... I've got uh, the ability to gain life. My Archfiend is the bigger concern here. Yep, down to four. Wow. Yep. Interesting. Stop on my upkeep here. Hmm. Does that kill us? I don't think so. We gotta discard everything, but uh, actually, it might. Yeah, we'll see here. Oh, maybe not. So he attacks me for four. I go up to seven. He attacks me for four. Five. Puts me down to two. Okay. I'm going to try for the breach. Interesting. Dead here. Six. Can he kill me on the backswing? Hold on. Let's see. We discard two cards here. Now he's got to do something or he dies, right? Let's get rid of one of our creatures. Yep. Taking four, down to two. It's really a matter of can I take this damage? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna decline on that one, but I don't know what he's got in his hand. He's got another werewolf, we might be dead? I should have probably thought of that. We got six life on the table, though, so it depends on what happens here. Ah! Down to five. What's he hit? Ah, oh, brutal. All right, we need an untapped land. Got him. <sighs> yep. Ow. Actually, untapped land won't do anything, will it? No. Yeah, that's something. Doesn't do too much, but at least does something. Was a cut it down in response. That's not awesome. that's not a bad play, honestly. I should have probably aimed at the devil, but I'd rather kill it. Yeah, go for it. Got him. Let's just gain some life. All right, we passing up to nine. Gonna take four here. Really need to hit that untapped land. Gonna decline. That's pretty much our only avenue to victory right now. Need to hit like an Atraxa. 
Are we dead? What's this guy do? That's a three, two, three. Yeah, we're not dead. Not yet. Discard draw. Yep. All right, down to two. This gotta be a heck of a draw, my friends. Heck of a draw. Uh, maybe? We might not make it that long. Come on, untap land. Give me hope. Ugh, lame. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Cannot do anything for us. Nope. Okay. I'll shoot him the GG and say, I'm moving on along. What a shame. Man. All right, on the draw. Uh, okay, I mean, yeah, we'll try it. Finally got the Bramble familiar. Hmm. Uh, we'll just go with old Death Path Blade. We can go turn three Archfiend, which I do think I like. No, we already have a double black. I guess it doesn't really matter. If he kills the Bramble Familiar, then we can go, um... If he kills the Bramble Familiar, we'll just go Pernacious Hammer Skull. Otherwise, I'm going to for the uh, Archfiend here. Mick the Bexa with his basic planes, go! Oh my goodness, I need to turn my phone off. Hmm, so, basic planes, stall out. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it works out for him. Ah, there we go. Oh no! What is this? Oh, whew. Ah, jeez. Storm Chaser Drake. Interesting. Alright, we're trying to play the aggro route here. Archfiend's gonna be doing some damage here, or doing some uh, work for us. Another Virtuoso, eh? Hmm, interesting. There is a world where I just play the Bramble Familiar and save the Archfiend for next turn. And hold up. I think I like that. Hold up, cut down. Oh, nothing held priority, that's a shame. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you see nothing holding priority, you just go ahead and do it. Hold up. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, interesting. Well, I mean, hey, win in Rome. Let's see if we can find ourselves. Okay, so some, now something is holding priority. Riggers! Let's see if he's got it. A counterspell, that is, or something like that. We'll see. He could phase out my creature, too. Which would so. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Is this happening? Did we just do this? Oh my goodness, we did it! <laughs> Blah! It was all worth it! <laughs> yes! It happened, people! It happened! <laughs> Alright, I can die happy. Alright, we are back! And you know, honestly, um, there were some tight, tight moments there that I definitely feel like a, a, a timely top deck would have saved us. Yeah. Yeah, and there were some definitely questionable keeps. You know, Archfiend of the Dross is a play with fire type card, but I still love it. I could easily see dropping Archfiend if you weren't a fan. You could go shake down heavy or more ancient one, but honestly, a big evasive flyer is one of the best ways to win, in my opinion. But the biggest punt, the biggest oversight on my part was definitely the fact that I can't actually cast Atraxa. So the fact that we have ancient one makes me think maybe we could make space for a couple um, plaza of heroes or something along those lines. That way it wouldn't be entirely useless. But since I only have two Ancient One and two Atraxa, it's like, uh, But I can't, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to put white mana in here. Oh, well, such a punt. Anyways, yes, definitely have a way to <laughs> to cast your Atraxas. Make sure you put in something in here. Just like I said, a couple Plaza of Heroes would probably do it. I'd probably cut, like, 
one Yabamaya Coast and uh, maybe one Line War Waste, yeah. Cut one of each of those and then just put in two Plaza just for that super late game. We never got to Breach, not once, but hey, we got to live the dream in that one game of fight rigging into a Traxa and just got to completely take down um, Azorius Heroic, so it wasn't a complete and total waste. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed. As always, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and drop a comment if you want or a list. And if you're still around, hey, you're the real MVP. I'll see everybody later.